Didn't see you there. Welcome to my kitchen in Queens. I'm Cree, and today I am going to attempt to bake my mamama's famous allergy-friendly apple turnovers with L. So if you're looking for something that's really easy to make, that's really delicious, and if you've got food allergies like me, this is a really great recipe for you. Before we get started, don't forget to tune in to Mr. Iglesias and The Sleepover on Netflix. Let's get into this. And now it gives it a little extra. This is the part that makes you feel like you're doing a good job. It is mandatory to taste test. I know how to make like four things and this is one of them. Let's talk about what we're gonna need. Two apples. These are Macintosh. You can use Granny Smith or whatever you'd like, but in this household, we use Macintosh. Some cinnamon and sugar. Just grab some cinnamon, grab some sugar, make a mixture however much you need. Uh, a little scooper for melon. I'm gonna use this on the apples. A knife and a peeler. A rolling pin, some confectionery sugar. A baking pan, some parchment paper, and store-bought frozen puff pastry. Any brand works. If you're soy-free or gluten-free, there's definitely some brands out there for you. First off, you wanna make sure your hands are washed and clean. We're gonna start with the apples. Same thing goes, make sure they're washed and clean. I'm gonna start by peeling it. So grab an apple in one hand, your peeler, or your knife in the other, and just sink it in, and then slowly, going in circles, start to peel it. My grandmother, who I call my mama, has been making this for years for my sister and I. We were born with really intense food allergies and she loved to bake and so she wanted to figure out a safe but a really delicious dessert that she could make for us. So that's how she sort of stumbled upon this recipe. So I've been making this since I was little. And now it's just really nice to have a, a, a super safe, but you know, a really delicious recipe in my back pocket if I ever need it. Now I've got both my apples peeled. We're gonna get into chopping. I'm gonna show you on this guy how it's done. So grabbing a nice sharp knife, please be very careful. Grab your apple and then straight down the middle. Ooh, that was a good one. Split your apple in half. Grab your little melon scooper here and just digging in nice and deep, scoop those seeds out of the middle. You can use a knife or an apple core, but I think it just makes it so much easier. Grabbing one, put the flat side against your hand. We're gonna cut this piece into three. So, grab that. That's one, two, three. And from here, we're gonna cut it into almost like french fry strips. You can cut it however you'd like. You can make it into little cubes, whatever shape, but my mama always had us cut it into these strips because it just made it a little bit easier to tuck into the puff pastries later. I remember when I was younger and my sister and I were learning how to make these, my grandmother would never let us cut the apples. That was the step we were not allowed to do for a good reason, obviously but I always remember being very personally offended. <laughs> but now we get to do it together, so that's fun. Let's throw them in a bowl so we can start working with the cinnamon and sugar. Before you do that, it is mandatory to, to taste test. Great, and that is mandatory. You have to take a piece of apple or else the recipe just will not work. Now that we've got our apple slices in a little bowl, we can get started with the cinnamon and sugar. So this, again, judge it to your liking. You're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top and we're gonna mix it around until they're all good and covered. I'm just mixing this in. This is the easy part of the recipe. This is the part that makes you feel like you're doing a good job. <laughs> Which is good for me because my culinary skills are below average. I know how to make like four things and this is one of them. And I haven't really mastered anything new while at home. I tried one gluten-free banana bread and it failed miserably. But this one's super easy. We're good with this. So now that we've got our apples set, we can get started with that dough. So let's do that. Now we got our puff pastry. Just follow the directions on yours to see how it should be defrosted. But once it is, get it out on a cutting board and we're gonna cut it into three long strips. So this is one and two, three. Now that you've got your strip, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife again and cut it in half right down the middle. So just try to get that as even as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. There you go. And we're gonna roll them out to make them more of a square shape. It'll make it easier to tuck all the apples into. So you can use your hands, um, but I'm gonna use a roller. And just on the sides, 
just roll them out nice and gently. And if you need to spread some flour or some of that cinnamon and sugar out so that it doesn't stick, that could be a good idea. You wanna take a good amount and just start stacking them up on top across the middle. Not too much, but you want them to be nice and filled. It's okay to stack them up a little bit high. And then carefully taking one edge, you are going to reach it up and over and fold it into this shape right here. And then very gently with your fingers, just squeeze the edges shut, just the edges. Don't go too far in and real gently. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be too pretty because we're gonna be tasty regardless. And these longer edges here, I like to fold them in just to make it a little bit easier on myself. Just fold this in just along the edges. This was my sister's and I's favorite step when we were younger and we learned how to do this because we liked tucking it in and feeling like a real baker. And I miss her very much because she just went off to college. So we're doing this in honor of her today, friends. And then with a the fork, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna sort of tighten the edges here. You've seen this in movies, I'm sure. I don't know if you watch baking movies, but this always happens and it's a real thing. So those movies did a good job. Okay, so we have our six puff pastries stuffed and ready to go on our baking pan. Now, this is optional, but if you're feeling wild, <laughs> and I think you are, you can sprinkle some more cinnamon and sugar over the top just for, just for fun, just for vanity. And now it gives it a little extra kick. So now we're gonna throw this into the oven at 410 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Or at 820 degrees for 10 to <laughs> if you have that ability. While we have our turnovers baking in the oven, we're gonna get going on our icing. This is 100% the easiest, simplest icing recipe in all the world. I'm sure of it. We're gonna take about four teaspoons of our confectioner sugar. We're just getting them in a little bowl here. And then I'm using water, but you can use the milk of your choice if you'd like. Just gonna take a little bit, just kind of eyeball it. Whatever will get us our desired consistency, just a bit. And then quickly, I'm just gonna mix that in. See how that worked out. Something like this, where it can drip right off the spoon. This is gonna be delicious. Yes! Our turnovers are finally out of the oven. They're golden brown, they look great. Now we're gonna have some fun and drizzle the icing on top. Make sure your turnovers are completely cooled before you get into this. Could take up to an hour. Just grab your icing on your spoon and then just really thin drizzle them across. You could have fun, you can freestyle, whatever you want. These are your turnovers. But I'm gonna do them in the diagonal manner, which I was always instructed to. Just grabbing a little on your spoon. Just sort of drip them across, however you like, not too much. Friends, we did it! Here we have my mama's famous allergy-friendly apple turnovers. And this time, mama, I made it. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. Don't forget to tune in to The Sleepover and Mr. Iglesias on Netflix and subscribe to Elle for more videos like this. Bye.